Hi, I'm Jennifer Ulrich, Paparazzi Independent Consultant. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. I want to talk to you about how I do a Facebook Live. If you are working on setting up your first live, you don't need a whole lot to start. I recommend numbers, okay, you want numbers, you want at least one jewelry neck, okay, baskets, and a tablet and paper, okay. So doing a Facebook Live, this is the way I do it. I like to have my baskets, you can get them at the Dollar Tree, or you can use, it's actually a shoe organizer, really, really nice and functional. And what I did for my shoppers that shop with me all the time, I took the Avery sticky labels and I put them on each spot for them. And I never take the labels off, okay? So that's their own little shopping bag, okay? Now when you go live, you wanna make sure you have proper lighting. You wanna make sure that you speak clearly and loudly enough that your customers can hear you. When setting up your live, in your status description, you want to make sure you tell everybody what you're going live with. Make sure you add in the $5 jewelry, tax, shipping, 100% lead and nickel free. That really, really grabs the attention of your customers because a lot of people do have sensitivity issues and that's one great thing about our jewelry is it's 100% lead and nickel free and you want to let everyone know that it is. All right. So now you see in the background here, I have a pegboard. Um, I did not have this when I did my first live. So it takes time. Don't go out and spend hundreds of dollars to go live. Just get on and do it. The main thing about going live is showing your jewelry. I like to have the pegboard because as my business is growing, I have more things to show. And it's nice because I can hang everything up. So as I'm showing a piece of jewelry, I'm going to show my necklace here, I'm gonna describe what it is. This is a dainty gold chain with turquoise crackle pebbles and matching earrings to go with. All necklaces come with matching free earrings, unless they're the urban, the urban necklaces do not. Then you wanna show your number with your piece of jewelry. You also wanna let your customers know that in order to claim, they need to comment sold with the item number or mine with the item number and make sure you add that in your description as well. So number 279, I have one available. A lot of times I will say that I have one available, but most times I will not. I will announce in the beginning of my live. If I have multiples, I will say that, okay? So that way you're not constantly saying I have one available, okay? And then you're just gonna hang it up here with your number, okay? So that's number 279. Numbers I got off of Amazon. Amazon is a great place to get a lot of supplies. Um, my shoe organizer over here, I got that at Walmart. My jewelry neck, it's good to have a jewelry neck. This one I got at Hobby Lobby. Uh, if you go online, Hobby Lobby usually has a 40% off coupon. You can screenshot it right onto your phone, and when you go into the store, you get one item at 40% off, okay? So I like to use these jewelry necks, and they're really good if you do vendor events as well, so it wouldn't hurt to get a few of those. Um, I also have a stand-up mannequin. This is Jane. I like this style mannequin because it replicates the human body, okay? Then your customers can see how the jewelry will lay on the neckline. They can also see if it's a longer chain, how long it is, okay? So I do like the full mannequin. And again, you can get these off of Amazon or if you just Google mannequin, torso, um, different options come up, okay? Now, the pegboard hooks that I have, I actually got the pegboard at Home Depot, you can go to Home Depot Lowe's or any store in your area that is like that. Um, so any store that sells wood, pretty much. Um, this here is a clothing stand from Walmart. I paid $12 and some cents for it, okay? It does have a base, okay? So, and you can raise it up and shorten it. 
Okay, so that's that. Some people like to paint these. Um, I actually just got it in this color because I like it that way. And, you know, you can see the jewelry very nicely. Your hooks. I got these off of our paparazzi website. Get a box of 25 hooks. I think it's like $3 in some sense. So for less than four bucks, you can get a pack of hooks. They have plastic and they have metal ones. Um, you should have gotten a pack in your kit as well. Okay, so those are the, the tools that I like to have when I go live. Okay, also when you go live, um, describe the jewelry, but don't overdo it because if you're, you know, blah, 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 blah about the jewelry, they can see what the jewelry is. So this is a silver base stretch bracelet with dark purple stones. That's what I do. I'll slide the bracelet on my wrist. I'll show it that way. I'll take my number, number 227. And then I actually use a long table when I do my live. I have my laptop on it. Usually with stuff like this or if it's um, pieces that just have the tag on and not the holes, I'll lay it on my table, okay, with the number on top. Again, earrings, gorgeous pink wooden fish hook style earrings, very lightweight. I'll hold it up to my ear just so they can get an idea of the size. And again, my number 247, I have three available, okay? If you have sets, don't be afraid to sell the sets together as a set. So this is a set, I'd like to keep it as a set. Gorgeous pearls, we have black feeding into a gray into our ivory pearl. Matching earrings. And a matching stretch bracelet. And you can take that off there. Oops. Now with my sets, I put the pins here, that way I can hang the bracelet with it. Okay, and then you wanna show your bracelet. Hang it back on. I have one available as a set, number 202. And then you can also tell them the set is $10, okay? We are allowed to do that. Okay, so basically that's it. So when you go live, you know, relax, breathe. The first time I was super nervous, but I had fun with it, and the more I did it, the more fun I had. Yes, I have bloopers. I'll drop things. Um, I've had things, you know, fall apart because I pull on it too hard. Uh, so, you know, just roll with it, okay? Don't let it drag you down. Don't be embarrassed. Laugh it off. Crack a joke. Most of the time, people on there, you already know. They came on to see you. Have fun with it. Um, maybe strike up a conversation about something. As you get more comfortable, you can play games. Uh, if you Google paparazzi interactive games, different things will come up such as Blingo. Um, there's one with uh, Duck Duck Goose. So there's so many different things. You can be super creative, okay? So again, I hope this helped. Good luck with your first live. Thanks for watching.